This is the morning office for February 14th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 103, verses 8 to 14. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord, your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the children, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the people, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, Where is their God? The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. In each of these morning devotions, I'll offer a few thoughts on silence as a spiritual practice and a spiritual good. I want to begin by talking about the fact that noise seems to be so common around us. Think of the last time you were someplace where there was absolutely no noise, no distraction. We almost become oblivious to it. It's around us so much and always um, bearing in on us. Just as important, I think, is the silence that we seem to have difficulty cultivating within us. 
if there is noise that comes at us from outside, there's also the noise that wells up inside us in the form of our thoughts and our fears and everything else that goes on constantly in our heads and in our hearts. Finding inner silence can be very difficult, and yet it is an essential thing if we are to hear the voice of God speaking within us. So perhaps today is the day to begin to notice the noise. Maybe it's too soon to do anything about it, but we can at least become aware of it and begin to think about how we might be able to silence it at least once in a while. Each day I will ask you to pray for the needs of the day, the needs of the world, and the needs of the church. So today I ask you to pray for those who are in any need or trouble, those whom you know, but especially those whom you don't know. For the needs of the world, where there is war, where there is natural disaster, where there is human-caused disaster, all those places where the peace of God is most needed. And for the church, that it will do all that it can to be a faithful witness in the world, to proclaim the love of God, and to proclaim the healing of God in its actions. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>